Hey everybody, welcome to Pet Services Pro, a show for you and your pets. Today we're going to go over the 10 interesting cat facts that you may not know. So make sure that you watch until number one because you won't want to miss any of these. Cats are pretty extraordinary animals. They're strong, sleek, flexible, and sweet. Over time, they have been domesticated, worshipped, and revered, and even persecuted, and in our modern time are one of the most popular pets. They have interesting traits about them which makes them special, and we're going to explore 10 of them right here. So let's dive in. 1. Cats do not have taste buds that detect sweetness. Cats are designed to be carnivores, and as a meat eater, there's no reason to need to taste sweet things. If they were omnivores or herbivores, being able to taste sweet flavors would help them find food, but not so in cats. Check the labels on the foods you're feeding your feline friend. If you see sugar in their diet, switch foods. Cats get their carbohydrates from meat. Make sure their food consists mainly of good meat protein. Fish and poultry are considered meat here. 2. Cats have a rough tongue. Has your cat licked you? It feels like sandpaper. They have little barbs on their tongue that serve several purposes. First, it helps them scrape and tear food off the bones of their prey. They eat their meat in chunks and they can help to grip the meat with the rough tongue. Next, it serves as a comb. It helps them groom and clean and comb their fur so that they stay clean, sleek, and scent free. Cats do not like to have an odor, so they spend a lot of time grooming their fur. They swallow any hair that sticks to their tongue, which creates hairballs. They vomit the hairballs a lot of times. To aid them in moving the hairball through their system, you can give them hairball supplements from your vet or pet store, and there are also hairball diets available. This is especially important if you have a long-haired cat. Have a conversation with your vet. 3. Cats are said to have nine lives. The expression goes back at least as far as Shakespeare when he talked about it in Romeo and Juliet. This saying possibly came from the fact that they are tough animals. Cats have been known to fall from several story buildings and survive just fine. They're fast too, so they can escape harm fairly easily. They can see in the dark and are very stealthy. But they are invincible. They still can get injured and have illnesses, so please take them to the vet for their yearly checkups and dentals and whenever they get sick, of course. Four, a group of cats is called a clouder. Interesting, eh? We think of cats as being independent loners, but actually they are social. In a community of cats that live together, such as feral cats, there is a hierarchical pecking order. Everyone learns who is in charge, and there are spats and fights to establish when a new one comes in or a kitten grows up. As long as everybody adheres to the rules, there's peace. So it's okay to have more than one cat. Five, cats can jump six times their body length and also land on their feet nearly every time. As we said earlier, they have been known to jump and fall great distances and come out of it unscathed. They have a very flexible body and they have a unique ability to right themselves and land on their feet most of the time. Pretty impressive. Six, cats have a third eyelid. It's called the nictitating membrane or haw. Actually, a lot of animals have this third eyelid. But why do they have it? What does it do? It has several functions, all good ones. First, it removes dirt and debris from their eye. Cats are low to the ground and they hunt prey. They walk through grass, stirring up dust and pollen, and the haw will swipe all that off the cornea. Next, cats catch prey and these animals can have bacteria and fungi on them, so the haw removes these things from the eye and guards them from getting eye infections. Thirdly, it helps to keep the eye moist because it has glands in it that excrete moisture. The third eyelid is kept folded in the inner corner of the eye but can be seen better when the cat is asleep and his eyes are relaxed. Sometimes they'll fall asleep with their eyes half open and you can see the nictitating membrane slide out. But if you see it when the cat is awake, this is not normal. This could indicate your cat could be sick, so a visit to the veterinarian would be needed to confirm it. 7. 
A cat's whiskers are as long as their body is wide. Isn't that interesting? This is because their whiskers are very sensitive and they are used to feel their way around and orient themselves. So by being as long as their body is wide, they can know how tight a space they can fit into and feel their environment in the dark. It is very important to never cut their whiskers, ever. Eight, cats are very clean animals. They do not like scents on their bodies. While they are hunters, they can also be hunted. They don't like to have an odor because not only would their prey be able to smell them if they were near, but predators can smell them too and put them in danger. So they spend a lot of time grooming, cleaning, and licking to make sure their coats, feet, and other body parts are clean and scent free. And as you know, they bury their excrement to not leave a scent when they eliminate. So then why do they spray? Good question. Being clean and odor free is their regular norm so they aren't detected. Spraying is a deliberate action to leave a message. They are marking. The scent in the urine has information about who they are, their status, age, and so on, and lets other cats in the area know about them and that this is their territory. So whether they are marking their area outside or spraying on your walls, he's trying to communicate. And if any of that scent gets on his body, he'll clean it off. Nine, speaking of marking, Cats have scent glands in their feet and cheeks. This is because he can further mark his area. When he headbutts you or rubs his cheeks on your legs, he's marking you as his. You've been chosen. What an honor. And when he scratches, not only is he leaving his visual information from the scratch marks, but also scents are released from his paws with data to other cats. It's aggravating when your cat scratches and sprays the furniture but he's doing what cats do. Provide him with appropriate places to scratch, and also spaying and neutering will greatly reduce their urine spraying behavior. 10. Black cats really are wonderful. They have been worshiped and revered in early history and in other countries, but they have also been persecuted and killed as well. In Egypt, cats were considered sacred Later in history, they were associated with witches and evil spirits and believed that either demons took over their bodies of black cats or that witches turned into black cats. It was noticed that old ladies who were alone would feed and care for stray cats and that would later, as the women would become senile, they would be believed to be witches and cats would become associated with witches and witchcraft. They became symbols of bad luck, especially if one crossed your path. Sadly, so many black cats were killed. Due to this, there are very few all black cats now. If you look closely at your black beauty, you'll usually find a white or brown hair somewhere on her body. My cat looks all black, but when I look at him, he has one white hair on his chest. It's cute. In some countries, black cats are considered to be good luck, which is my preferred belief. Unfortunately, the belief that black cats are associated with evil still exists, and a lot of cats in shelters are black. An interesting fact is that a lot of shelters will not adopt black cats out in October because people use them in evil rituals. So don't be afraid to own or adopt a black cat. They're just as beautiful, normal, and loving as any other cat. So, there you go. 10 facts about cats you may not know. Now you know. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of fun animal facts and much more. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos for pet care and I will see you in the next video. Take care!